Welcome to Rhinos and Aliens. Political correctness has, has now expanded to space where NASA says planets, galaxies, and other heavenly bodies will no longer be referred to by offensive nicknames. In a press release roughly three weeks ago, the space agency said all planets and heavenly bodies will be referred only to by their scientific names. The reason for this is because of quote-unquote racist connotations that can be applied to some of these names. A couple examples are under the new rules, the the Eskimo Nebula will now be described as NGC 2992. The so-called Siamese Twins Galaxy is now going to be known as NGC 4567 and 4568. So, yeah. The nicknames are cute, and I get it, but people are so fucking sensitive nowadays. Everybody's so sensitive about everything. Now we can't have nicknames in science. You stupid bitches ruin everything. But when was Eskimo racist? That's like, the, the like I, I'm, I can understand the racist history of Siamese twins, but I've never heard anyone say Eskimo is um, racist. Uh, listen, hey, every race gets discriminated against at some point. Uh, some Eskimos are, I don't know, Filipino or like not Asian or something. No, they're, they're Asian. Right. So yes. they're not white. So uh, maybe that. Who knows? <laughs> but my thing is, okay, obviously a white person found this this nebula, but what if an Eskimo individual found it and they are the one who named it Eskimo? Why are other people offended then? I thought an Eskimo was just a person who lived in an igloo in, in Alaska. Well, Eskimo individuals are basically the water tribe of, of the last airbender. That's what no, I know what an Eskimo is, yeah. but I'm saying I didn't know that it was a specific race of people until I got older. Like, I didn't know it was mainly Asian or Chinese people. I thought it could be just anybody. anyone. Yeah, that's what I thought, too. That's what I would argue. Anybody could be an Eskimo. If, Anybody can move to water and and decide to migrate and be well, an Eskimo. Well, not to be, not to sound dumb. Well, that's con- what I thought. Well, conscious thought, this is that not true? It's only Asian people? <laughs> they could suck our dick. We writing them a letter. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit! Shit just got Eskimo's real. Eskimo's a way of life, bitch. Shit just got real. She and said, we gonna prove it by going up there. No, we not. I ain't gotta get too cold. My bones. No, no, no. Conscious is being serious now. So I'm being serious too. I'm letting y'all know. I'm skipping right to this. <laughs> <laughs> and we go. I'm gonna record this part just to post for <laughs> Instagram. Said, she said, <laughs> "They can suck our dicks." <laughs> Okay, but on a serious note, <laughs> time stamp this. Eskimo is not is not a term used for any it's person that lives. Time stamp this. Fuck out of here. <laughs> nah, for real. Time stamp this. Okay, I, I'm going to send it to you. When Got you. Because <laughs> she said they can suck our dicks. <laughs> Yo, conscious wants to know. It, it, it's only for no, a race now? I, I don't know if it's really just a race. I'm with y'all. <laughs> I really I don't. thought I, it was just how you I lived. thought if I can move I, there, I thought if I can I just move the there pilgr- as a black man, he, I'm an Eskimo. Yeah, see, I thought the pilgrims moved out of uh, Washington and maybe went to Alaska and decided to be Eskimos. Yeah, but that would that would make sense because they're changing their way of life. Exactly. Just like hillbillies. I didn't, it, it doesn't matter if you're black or white. I didn't know Eskimos was Chinese. But but Eskimos aren't Chinese. They're just Asian because they don't know that. Or the, Asian. Yeah, yeah, but that's what I'm saying. I didn't know they had. Sorry. I didn't know they had a race. Kind of trying to find out. Google. Okay, okay so as Danielle was looking that up, I'm going. Eskimo is a farmer to me. Like, what the <laughs> fuck? They use ice and icicles and shit. <laughs> okay, this, so. Yo, damn near. They are. <laughs> Finish this. I don't even know how to spell Eskimos. How a do you spell Eskimo? with ice. E S K I M O. That's like calling it a lumberjack galaxy. You feel me? Like <laughs> no, but they would probably say that's offensive to lumberjacks, especially if, if it's non-white lumberjacks. Inhibiting y'all more than sucking Canada. a lot of dick. I want to say this: they are definitely sucking a lot of dick because I put so money if they named a, anyone can be an Eskimo. Oh. So what the. F- Wait, yo. I'm done. Yeah, Mic yeah. drop. I'm fucking done, bro. So Wait. this next statement just just uh, is gonna be a big f you. But I just want to put this out there. I Can believe, I, like, actually, yes. Describe it. You gonna describe it? They basically saying people inhibiting northern Canada, Alaska, Green Greenland, and eastern S- Siberia traditionally living by hunting, especially off seals. Y'all bitches fishing. is about to get. 
Y'all about to get an email Especially out this ass. Because half of the countries... Keep our just, galaxy names, you bitches, and a Siamese twins one. <laughs> because half the countries they named have white people. I never yeah. knew I cared this much. So anybody can be an Eskimo. I got one shoe on, y'all. <laughs> we gotta hurry up and go. Yo, you guys are gonna be even more mad because I believe the director of NASA put out this quote. As the scientific community works to identify and address systematic discrimination and inequality in all aspects of the field, it has become clear that certain cosmic nicknames are not only insensitive, but can be actively harmful. NASA is examining its use of unofficial terminology for cosmic objects as part of its commitment to diversity, equity, and inclusion. These nicknames and terms may have historical or cultural connotations that are objectable or unwelcoming, and NASA is strongly committed to addressing them. See, this is how you know people are... You really suck in mad dick. (laughs) And... I'm going to say this to say this. You know how many <laughs> black people enslaved for the motherfucking <laughs> company that too. didn't get no goddamn credit? You know about them three bitch. What was that movie called? Oh, The Hidden Figures. Not just them, but shit. Imagine how many other fucking people work and discover shit and didn't get credit for that shit. And so what if we decided to name some shit after chasing stars to get free? <laughs> <laughs> you leave us be. But the problem is they don't even know the actual definition of Eskimo. So it's like... So what What else don't you know? <laughs> That's what I'm asking now. Because like, at we... this point, astrology, the galaxy, space is a scam to me. <laughs> you, bitch, you don't know the def, def, definitive term for Eskimo. Yo, that's So crazy. how are you going to find the, the, the fucking galaxy? I don't you know. <laughs> you going to tell me about a planet, but you don't know what Eskimo mean. <laughs> Especially when you give the reason for why you got rid of Eskimo is because of racism and discrimination when Eskimo is not. I guess they have their own language. Which is weird. And I'm sure it's different in Greenland. And I'm sure it's different in Alaska. <laughs> no, it might be. Actually, that's crazy. But, but look at might. Spanish. Look at English. Depending on the countries, they're different. Exactly. Yeah. It's all about the slang. Just a friendly reminder, guys. Hit the subscribe button in this corner, and then for the newest video, then for the most recommended, and then for our famous dick pic.